Hello! In today's video, we are going to compare six different ways of growing ginger at home in a container. Those ways that are most often found on internet and see which one of them is the best. So let's start our experiment. I have here mm, usual um, ginger and organic ginger. I also have soaked organic ginger and usual ginger. And I have several empty pots. Now what I'm going to do now is to plant different ginger in a different way and see what goes, what, what happens. Now the soil it likes a very um, rich organic loamy soil. So I have here soil with compost which I make myself. You can see there are still some roots left and it's um, it's full of um, microbes. If you are interested, I can explain how I do it at home on my balcony without um, going outside. But in the meantime, let's start filling the pots. Now the pots are very small. When you grow ginger, you should select much bigger pots so um, it has where to grow. It grows very big roots, very deep roots. Uh, and also it spreads, so you need to have a big pot. Um, I would say a container should be at least uh, 20 gallons uh, if you want to have good harvest, but we will talk about all this in a different video. For now, we are just experimenting. So now I have all my six pots with the same soil. Um, about mm, more than three quarters and we are going to plant so first control this is the piece of garlic which has never been soaked just a supermarket garlic with um, one two three eyes but they are pretty damaged this one looks to be okay but that's what you would expect so what we are going to do we just planting it like this and we are going to do the same mm, okay that's a smaller piece smaller pot let's put it here um organic one it has five eyes and we are planning it in the same way now now we are going to take ginger which was soaked overnight water with like a 30 degrees probably on top you can take this one so the one two three four five six seven It was soaked and oops, it's here and we are putting it in the same way and this one which was soaked um, let me get this one it seems to be better it is an I1 and then it's still a little bit damaged but and we put it here soaked now uh, the last thing we do you know, some people recommend that you don't plant it horizontally, you plant it vertically with eyes going up. I personally don't see much point because you have eyes on both sides. So one of some of them might go up, some not, but let's do it. So you have also seven here and I'm going to plant, not sure which way, let's do, oh, let's do this way they all are up and then we need to get stalwart one let's also get that you have one two three eyes and we plant it in the same way now it's actually very good because we have three eyes on each of those um bought in a supermarket and you have seven let me see how many you have here one two, okay you have four you have four in a little piece which we uh didn't soak and you have seven in the other two now let's put a little bit of soil on the top everywhere the same about one centimeter and let's see how it grows we 
have soil everywhere we just put it a little bit like this little pressure so that it um, removes air pores and to remove it more and to promote it to grow you will just water it usual water non-chlorinated as always and let's see how it grows now two weeks later let's see what the result is as you can see two of them started growing about a week ago and they grew significantly so um let's go one by one this one was soaked and planted horizontally and this one was soaked and planted vertically both of them were usual ginger not gingers not organic ginger and then the one which is uh, which only started uh, growing a couple of days ago um, this is also not organic ginger and it was not soaked now let's see now at the second row which is organic ginger they all also started growing and again we have um, organic uh, ginger which was soaked and planted horizontally and then we have organic ginger which was soaked and planted vertically uh, which grows a little bit better for now and then you have non-soaked organic ginger so what conclusion can we make well as a scientist first of all i should say none uh, you need to make five to ten repetitions controlling for all other factors in order to be able to make any conclusions but we can see um, some suggestions based on our experiment so first of all um, all of the ginger pieces that we uh, planted started growing so potentially organic non-organic ginger you can just try and see what works for you both of them might work and non-organic ginger is cheaper secondly soaked ginger seems to be growing sometimes better than not soaked i would say in most cases so far it, it grew better uh, which means that if possible you can soak ginger before growing but if not possible it's also not a big deal it probably will take it a little bit longer to start growing and the third suggestion based on our experiment is that it doesn't matter whether you plant it vertically or horizontally it would still grow so don't be um, too bothered by different ways of people planting ginger and just plant it. I will make a few more videos about ginger, so subscribe in order to not to miss anything important. And don't forget to click, to click on the bell button next to the subscription.